Hello there, advanced English explorers. Have you ever been in a conversation feeling great about your English skills and then suddenly a phrase so native, it's like a language roadblock? You know English well, but sounding like a native speaker is the goal, isn't it? At least for a lot of you. You're in luck because today we're revealing real actionable strategies to help you master those tricky phrases and use them like a champ. But remember, the perfect place to practice these strategies and practice makes progress, as I always say, is in our Exploring Academy. We host live workshops every week, perfect for boosting your English communication skills and decreasing your anxiety. So that being said, let's dive right in. Strategy number one is listening and imitation. It's about immersing yourself in the melody of English, picking up on the rhythm, stress, and intonation of L1 native English speakers. For example, L2 non-native English speakers often pronounce interesting as interesting, but natives usually say interesting, skipping a syllable. Notice these nuances when watching English shows, listening to podcasts, or participating in our Exploring Academy sessions. Strategy number two. Next up, we have shadowing. Pick a short clip of an L1 native English speaker. Listen and try to repeat or shadow their words immediately, keeping their rhythm and tone. An iconic example is Joey from Friends when he says, how you doing? How you doing? Instead of the formal, how are you doing? Or how you doing? How are you doing? How you doing is shorter and casual, perfect for friendly interactions. Strategy number three, phrasal verbs. These can trip up even advanced English learners. Native English speakers prefer get out or put off over exit or postpone. Compile a list of common phrasal verbs and start incorporating them into your conversations. For example, use hang on instead of wait or catch up instead of meet and talk. Strategy number four. Our fourth strategy is about fillers. Now, these are often avoided in formal writing or in public speaking, but they can make great casual conversations sound more natural. Words like, um, like, you know, so, actually, basically, and seriously. So instead of saying, I think it's going to rain, you could try, I think it's um, gonna rain. It adds a touch of realism to your conversation. And last but not least, let's talk about colloquial language. English is filled with idioms, slang, and colloquial expressions just like any other language. Native English speakers often say break a leg instead of good luck or hit the sack instead of go to bed. Slang words like cool for good or awesome, buddy for friend or hang out for meet are common. So start adding these to your English vocabulary. So there you have it, five solid strategies to sound more like an L1 native English speaker. Remember, practice makes progress and sometimes practice makes perfect. And there's no better place to practice than our Exploring Academy. So here you're gonna get countless of opportunities to practice your English communication skills, helping you to sound more fluent and confident. And so what are you waiting for? Start sounding more like an L1 native English speaker. And even if you have an accent, that is great because the goal is intelligibility. If your goal is to sound more fluent, sound more conversational, and perhaps even sound more like a native L1 English speaker, then you can definitely check our community out. I'll link it below, or you can just go to academy.exploring.co. I'll see you there. Bye for now.